very good evening, Zimbabwe. This is Studio 7 Live Talk coming to you live from the Voice of America in Washington this Thursday, August the 27th, 2015. Welcome to the Women's Roundtable, where we discuss about issues affecting women. I'm Marvelous Mplanga Nyahuye. And I'm Praxedis Jeremiah. And today on the Women's Roundtable, we are discussing about the issue of women empowerment eight months after the declaration made by the Africa Union earlier on this year, where they declared this year the year of women's empowerment and development towards Africa's Agenda 2063. What are your views on the issue? Uh, to join our discussion, you can call us on 001. 202-619-2077. The number again, 001-202-619-2077. And we'll call you back. And Live Talk goes out to Zimbabwe on the 909 medium wave frequency and on the 4930-5940 and 1545- shortwave frequencies Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. But as you know, ladies out there, Thursday is your day. Don't forget to join us. We are also on the web, on the internet. You can find us on www.voazimbabwe.com 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 um, Nyara Zai Gumbondranda, General Secretary World YWCA. So I am the African Union Goodwill Ambassador for the Campaign to End Child Merit. I'm still counting on my fingers the losses, but also the gains. I'm still trying to see what has been the progress. The big progress has been raising awareness to say it's important for us to have the issues of economic empowerment for women, social empowerment, girls' education, and health to be so much on the top agenda is the key discussions around women's empowerment and this being the year of priority for the African Union on this theme is the, is the topical theme. I've also been quite excited to see a very extensive focus around the issues of girls and the issues around young women. We see an extensive uptake to the effort to raise awareness to end child marriage as a singular issue that the continent is focusing on. Uh, we've seen so many country launches, development of national action plans, including my own country, Zimbabwe. We've seen Malawi, the traditional leaders, taking a very strong position that uh, child marriage is not within our culture. So that has been good effort. But of course, we also want to make sure that more girls remain in school, more girls continue to be in school. And when they get out of school, they get jobs or they get a livelihood, or they are able to go into business. So, yes, there is good uh, awareness, but it's not sufficient unless if it is translated to practical issues. Taka tarisa nika yedu ya kaita se Zimbabwe tichi koshesa nekusumu zira munu kazi. Mwezi saiwo uno wa taka tarisa na nao. Tunungu tanga kutarisa kuti vashinji waku gazira rajijara kuya. Totanga kutarisa nevari mi mazimai ndizi tinobikira muri nuko na ushaka mirase. Toda kusumzira kuti mazimai awana mbeu, awana woku batsirika na kutiba kukwansa kutarisa mwaka. Wataka tarisa na umuri zawezi kukwansa kuzojika nekuwa na ushaka kwana. Chichipiri ndeche kuti mazimai tiliku shinga ira kutengesa tengesa pamisika. Nishumye shaka darasa kaya nyaye mazimai ano tengesa pamisika, chitengesa mjumbo za kasiana siana. Daiwa ono kuchenge tezikuwa. Uye vachire meke zikuwa kwa zero zao. Nisa kutu ndopara kutu vararamu. Ye muri zao. Poyo mazimai neva na vechidiki na vamu eva nenge vare vashandi. Kwa zero zewa shandi zinokosha. Saka ndangandru kutarisa onyika yedu mazwa pera yanga yari kutawara nyaya. Ye kuchenge tezikuwa kwe vashandi. Nima retrenchments nile babiu yanga yari kutawara. Saka hiru mwezuo yu watenge taka tarisa na unga tarisa onyaye mazimai vashandi. Ne kutu kwa zero zao za chenge tezikuwa. Asuo kando mwezi watu noti kanairi Women's Month saizreshi. Totu waka mwezi wikuwiri rana muzimba. Mwezi we love. Hatitari siri kutipange pane bongo zozo mumba, kutsunyana, kuchemezana, kubinyana. Ndo mwezi kwa ukuratiza kutimunu kazi anokosha. 
abantana ba kocha pengeledi bona isgozi vula last time wanda be penuga la basa lebe seat oldi sama po yonke into aicho la gal baso chola gupa basa lebe ngasebens abantu ba misum sebens kunjenge um um zale patelanga agula ntero patel school fees agula madi agula ani abantu ba papa pilanzi kono me elizonde tu isi file wote vile agusa chaleli nangu chaleli zonda bani gazi agusa chaleli la kupati pungo nuko la kuela yet mama fanda sibamba mama yuti petpon Enji no mama ngoyo enza yonke into nxa singaba ngomama sisukume silungisile izwe leklase ezimbapho ele yaloku lungiseka nasibamba lo mama ngoba ahlala nabo mama bezapho ama political differences ezithwafa ke celeni silungisile izwe lethu thina singabo mama sibona ukuthi sibambane sikhone ukuthengela abantwana ama bullet point namabhuku ukuthi baqhubekele phambili ngoba bema befundile bazophuma ukuthi poverty sibathengele lama sanitary pads Moba Abazali being as a corn with Tibago in the Yanga, Loko in Zagalai Kai. Ibu Shum, we are in Zangachi Kanga, we are lapping over. Maunga savings are equin to my ends. Oh, Mamma, it has a sugman is Bopa Maroc with that cleany, see a pan bead. Moba, what tint Abafas, what tint in Bogot. Tinajan, Mamma, as one by name, Susamulan citizen, severe ladies in Bapo, sailing citizen. Otherwise, no masters are present in a solid. As the Langa goes, Abana Bet Bashun is a man of my paper. We had there from uh, some of the views on uh, women's empowerment, uh, diverse views there. But uh, if you're just joining us, welcome to the Women's Roundtable. Today we are discussing the issue of women's empowerment eight months after the Africa Union's declaration of this year as the year of women's empowerment and development towards Africa's Agenda 2063. What are your views on the issue? Uh, but as it is marvelous, uh, the African Union made this declaration at the beginning of the year, and we are now in August. And many are asking what gains and losses have been made to achieve this goal by African leaders eight months down the line. And also, PJ, the African Union also declared August as the month of honoring women. And countries like South Africa and Lesotho also carried out different programs to honor this month. And some Zimbabwean women in South Africa were also saying they would like to unite and determine the destiny of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Some Zim Zimbabwean women's organizations based locally even um, locally in Zimbabwe, in the diaspora, in South Africa, and internationally have been embarking on programs that help encourage and empower women, as you heard uh, from all those diverse voices that we started the program with. Yes, PJ, and one of those organizations which actually works with empowering women is the Zimbabwe International Women's Awards, Ziwa, which was founded in 2013. But we're going to hear more from uh, one of the Ziwa founders and uh, marketing manager, I think, and they are seeking to applaud women who have made a contribution to our community through entrepreneurship, education, social welfare, charitable and humanitarian works, and entertainment and arts. And uh, this year, the awards will take place in Birmingham in the United Kingdom on the 3rd of October 2015. So far, the gains made by women empowerment groups and the government were earlier in the year put into question uh, when one of the most powerful women in Zimbabwe, the former president, Joyce Mujuru, was fired from her post. And PJ, today, the First Lady uh, Grace Mugabe at a rally in Murombe, in Mashonaland and West actually said she will continue to blow the whistle on anyone in the party who does not confirm. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, we, you know, we will take a listen to yeah. what Amai Grace Mugabe said earlier on. And women activists are asking if this will mean more purges within the government and ZANU-PF itself. Yes, self, and what yeah. that will mean for the women in that party and in government. Let's take a listen. But even man, the man, Juru, the supporters are right under Nazo, right to Boran Sango. So I think that's okay. So I'm happy to attend the man that we tell. She is the man. Can I tell you, I'm the ZANU-PF, I'm the offside. Zimbabwe <laughs> 
Canal de canal fala no Zé, no que é? Também, Mari. Canal do Offside. Também, Mari. Se alguém ainda não é o meu time, não vai de canal de canal de canal de canal. Vem com o Offside. Também, Mari. Uh, PJ, that's the words there from a doctor, Amai Grace Mugabe. Varkuti Iwo, ah, if you continue, you know, disregarding or disrespecting the party, she will blow the whistle, PJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lapo si zwege, unko si gazi. Uh, Grace Mkabe, Munga Kega Mungameli, uh, Robert Mkabe, Ekuluma Eralini, um, E Konangale, E Zimbabwe, E Murombet. E Lapo Gobe Kuluma Nguti, Yenage, Kasozi, Ayegele, Ugu Kuluma, Uzabeloke Kuluma, Nankupela, Wakulchisa, uh, Unkosigazi, Joyce Mujuru, Eva and Leni, Ngoba, Wainga Sala and Deli, Izi Kondiso, Zeba and La. I yoge indaba eskuluma ngayo lamhlanje kuhlelo lethu asiyihluzeni bomama sikhuluma ngokuhloma kukamama kuhloma kwabesifazana ukuze bathole amathuba afanayo kungaba ngezombusazwe kungabe kusezintweni ezehlukeneyo wathi ke sizwe ukuthi ube sithini ah lamhlanje Ah, irueda ma PJ nasi michirongo chethu Sikhona i i tape yake utatenda uthi na isikhona Nasi mchirongwa chedu che mazimai hii PJ. Tuliku kuru kura nyaya yekure mikwezwa kwe mazimai. Na uti maamati ga ga ga. Sangati mm. ndereje numberi na mitambe. <laughs> <laughs> Irambe iche ndere ramberi PJ. Na uti nguwa zina umira mwishe. Taka miri rwa ne guest wedu mstudio ni wangu warupa phone. Saka mm. tungo oza na ngure. Tuliku mchirongwa chedu che mazimai. Nasi tuliku tarisa nyaya yekure mikwezwa kwe mazimai. Tuliku tarisa kutisanga nore African Union. Raka taura iro kutigore rino. Igorele mazimai. Uye shivakati iwo, iwo mwezi uno, mwezi we mazimai. Saka change triku zea kutipane shaitu wa ire, panya iyo yekune mikeza mazimai. PJ. Mm -hmm. Elamsha nje njomba esikulu mile uh, mavila sutewe na esikulu maangota wa lukushoma kuga mama. Ama tuwa afanayo. Uh, Nangu pela izolo kube kutakazilelo i Women's Equality Day. Lapo kwe always fazana atola kona ituwa elilingene la wababa la yonke umuntu ngilu ngilu laki. Ika ntige uh, i Africa Union ike acho yati ona lelo ngumnyaga a uh, wogu kumbi kumbe wogu tutugisa uh, ama tuba au uh, always fazan uh, iga ntige e South Africa baku tatele pezu lusibili mm. bataka zelela inyanga yonke benanza imisebenzi emihle enzi wangabo mama luguti matuba bani haba ngawatola iki kwa zige saizwa uh, lapana e kukaluse nukoshe luletu ula besifaza nagate bekuluma haba sezi haba tabuga e Zimbabwe koto haba shala e South Africa nagate mm. bekuluma ngaba tibana lako empilweni luguti benze ni ngukuta zana uguti batutugise ilizwe Ah, PJ, uh, we are very lucky today. We have an in-studio guest. Uh, we have Miss Tato Mochone, who is a 2015 Mandela Washington Fellow. She's from Lesotho, and uh, welcome to the Women's uh, Roundtable, Tato. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. You can yes. tell us a little bit what's your impression you've heard our first lady speaking um, about, you know, what's going on in Zimbabwe. And she's speaking about women's empowerment. Also, just saying in her party, she will blow the whistle. We saw earlier on in the year, the vice president, who happened to be a woman, was actually fired from her job after altercations between the first lady and her. What's your take on what's going on in Zimbabwe? I, I, I personally think that's a that's, uh, bad characteristic for a leader, especially as a woman leader who, who every woman is looking up to her. I, I don't feel like she's standing she, she's standing up for women and I, I, I listened to the tape and I had people uh, applauding and I was thinking, okay, maybe we are on a different page altogether but I, I really do not think it's a I, I really think she should stand uh, more for, for women and, and advocate more for women. Mm -hmm. PJ? Mm. I don't know, maybe in Lesotho, tell us a little bit, how active are the, you know, women, are they represent, are they well represented in government and in such positions like what we're seeing the First Lady doing? In, in Lesotho, what is happening is uh, women are 
underrepresented mm -hmm. like uh, there's there's a lot of advocating right now for for women empowerment for women to hold leader leadership positions but what is really happening is we still have a uh, men dominating in, in in those in those spheres like the 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 leading positions even in parliament we have a very low number of women uh, for the first time ever we only had recently a political party which is the opposition that is that is led by a woman and this was a fraction from the the big party so mm -hmm. It was a breakaway, and then she formed her, her own party. So the, the women are underrepresented in, in generally in, in many, many things. Thank mm. you, there, Tato. Mm. PJ. Even, even in the media itself, you are in the media mm -hmm. in Lesotho. Uh, women, women in leadership. Women are, are, but fortunately for me, where I work, women are dominating. <laughs> like how is that? Uh, how how did that dynamic come about? I really don't do not know. I remember at the beginning of my my tenure there, my then boss was saying I was caught between because I had to bring about balance. Mm -hmm. But there, I, I think we have only two men in 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 the whole uh, radio station and like seven women. So. In that regard, I think uh, women are important. But leading positions, yeah. women uh -huh. are still lacking behind. PJ Trukuns was a sitato or whatever. Ah, Kuli Soto, Kwabanu Shanda Ivo, Junjakati Nake, Kunemads Mai, Akati one day, but Pama Basa, Pam Soro, Asi, Murumende, Nemparamende, Ash, Namia Zumira Shakanaka, Madzimaya Katisho May, um, PJ. Because uh, Mkwase has tattoo, uh, Mochone Lapa, uh, Intertel is in the Aba, Isabenzela Msagazo, Oosele Soto, mm -hmm. uh, Kota Ulapa and Emeliga, Mwaba Ui Fellow, year 2015, Mandela Washington Fellow, uh, Ovela, Otavuga, Welele Soto. Lapa Gawe Simbozili Wuti, Wenobona Njani, Mumumu Okona, mm -hmm. Wele Zimbabwe, eh, Njengo Aloko Gatu, Kukulunyo Kona, uh, Mufes Ledwe to, uh, Mkwase has a great Simgabe, Watena na, mm, Aguve, Aguve, Mm. <laughs> I work. Going to Tavisai. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, at least, you know, you, you bring hope. Because yeah. when you see a situation like that, where, you know, they're starting maybe at the grassroots and going up. Maybe you are going to be one of the future leaders, we hope. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think the, 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 the very good thing uh, that we, we really should note about Lesotho is women who are up there are actually very supportive of each other. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, so I think that it, it goes back to the pull her down syndrome where women in the leading positions feel like the ones that are down here are actually jealous of them. But what's really happening the majority of the time is women who are in leading positions or who, who are holding high offices uh, I've seen in recent years that they are very supportive of each other and then mm -hmm. we have the the finite women appreciation awards which is an initiative that mm -hmm. honors women and I'm a proud winner of the 2014 award um, wow. in the media category so yeah I, I really think we are going somewhere well congratulations mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> PJ I think you have a guest that, that's uh, on the line yeah yes long Courses and Antonio Simoyo, Sierra Mogela, who sell it. Yes, when I get Osesa Africa, Napo, a Litagazele, in Yanga, Yonke, a Litagazelela, Imsevenzi, and Zua, Nabo Mama, when I get on a ticket from from my future, I will be going to Umumolo. I will be going to South Africa. South African women, at least, it's uh, by by Pambi, 
Tina and Jesus for Nilim Sevenzi, got a master, a move, a leg, it is fell up. Then the moon to Mount Sasimon take a good. A rule and slangani, so lapo elisanganella con and jenga, very sifas and abbey Zimbabwe, Abashala is South Africa. Mina Lapping Corner in Shan is a Shanella Conama, about this first and abbey Zimbabwe, but this South Africa is not. Gave a club. I'm a club, which I learn is Mali. Equal of a solar conisca to what is Shang and Jay Abu Mama City singing and Mama Mouse in Zimalia Conetula in Nana and Ebu to Ting, a proprietor and Ebu to Ting, a little and Abani Sia Kalemu. So much child and my club, and Jay Abu Mama equal up is not to set to Isana Kona, the woman that Dana's thing is into Zenjini, is into a proprietor, must in the Kaila before Kona. Kodwa leze zombu sazo eze zikundleni ezo buko keli alila hako noko une. Aba involved njenga kububuwa MDC but ine nilabu mama aba lape South Africa aba ko involved ezi ndwezi nze politics ezi ndwezi njalo wapizi basi mtene njini umi yeru umi uti nima alio uti at least akono usapota vantoana usapota vanyikai aba ko politics wako na patiba aba alo kodwa ine nji aba nye basi skolo ene at least si chwa ila lila wansha atonji I was talking to uh, uh, Ms. Ntandengo Simoyo uh, she's just articulating uh, what is happening in South Africa mm-hmm. uh, is women uh, who come from Zimbabwe who are now living in South Africa. I was asking her if ever there are any organizations where they fellowship together or they gather together mm-hmm. to talk about how to uh, develop South, uh, Zimbabwe, mm. uh, to develop their places where they're coming from. And she's saying uh, politically, uh, few women are involved in in the politics of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Very few are in the political parties like MDC. But mostly, most women who came from Zimbabwe are more uh, focused on making money um, Mm -hmm. just to support their families. In the politics of the stomach. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I think, Tato, on that note, you've heard what PJ is sharing from our our, our contributor. How is it in Lesotho when it comes to such issues like, you know, women coming together to empower each other? There is there is a close relationship, you know. Mm. People that can afford it's easy for them to do it. But but people are so busy being hungry. Especially when you go to the to the highlands, to the rural parts of the town, people are so busy being hungry. It doesn't make sense when you say someone is busy being hungry, but people are so they are poor mm-hmm. and they don't have time. You know, time is of essence. I don't have time to go for meetings. If I come to this meeting, what are you going to offer me? Mm. So if there's something on the table that you are offering them, then they will come. Mm-hmm. But it's only for a little while. And afterwards, if there's nothing, then, you know, it's, it's not easy for, for, for. But if they are brought together because there is a scheme, they're going to get paid at the end of the day. Mm. It's easy for them. But in the, in, in, in the cities, uh, in our small towns where people have jobs, it's easy for women to, to come together. And, but I, I realize it's not sustainable. It just mm-hmm. happens for a little one and then they go. But the ones in politics, they stick together and, and they just stick together. So mm. if only we could copy that and not, not do the politics, politics, but do our politics of empowering each other, I yes. think that would be a very good thing. Mm. Thank you, Data. I think we have our other guest, Miss um, uh, Norm Sasibanda of the Zimbabwe International Awards. She's the marketing manager. Welcome to the Women's Roundtable, uh, Miss Sibanda. Thank you very much for uh, including me in the conversation. Uh, You've heard um, what, we, uh, what we were talking about, but we just wanted to hear about your awards for 2015. Why are you having these awards, especially aimed at women? I think it, part of the reason, I mean, it's, it's what um, one of the guests pointed out about the idea of not having any platforms outside of politics mm-hmm. where women can come together and celebrate their achievements. Uh, so Juliana Jonathan, who is the founder of the Zewa, um Awards, um, uh, came up with the idea purely for that, of mm-hmm. like, you know, realizing that there were so many awards out there on a continental level. There's so many awards out there uh, awarding men. Um, all over the place, but we didn't actually have something that was by Zimbabwean women, for Zimbabwean women, really mm-hmm. highlighting the great successes that are happening all over the world. Mm-hmm. So that was really the, the genesis of, of the Zimbabwe International Women's Awards. 
Okay, thank you, the PJ. Um, uh, my norms as Bandavan could see you. Ah, Vaka won a Jaka could zera isu. Could see Pave Ipo, Nemu Bairo, no Pio, Mamadzmaya, Quita Mabasaka, Kosha, Varimunika, never see Munika. Notice no Namadzmaya, Kawanda Chaisu Paris, you know, Varpad and Demta and the Facebook, Vachit Iwa, Voteo Quandir. Mm-hmm. Saka kushika e, mwezi wa October van wakawanda vani ngivari kuchaga iwo ruti giro rukutuwa kwanze kupinda e, mu mawazi waya PJ. Mm-hmm. Eh hey, kulo mwendi sano lapa au kona osu ngulue ilitanga niso uh, kumbe ngiti kwa mboele zibiza nguti hizi mbapo international awards my, uh, awards mm-hmm. e ziwa uh, unkosi ya zi nomsa asivanda unkosi ya zumbi unkosi ya zana nomsa asivanda uh, kulume lapa ngesingi zi uh, siru sizu kutika kwa nisu kuluma ngolimu lesi ndebele kwa tage uyena utiena Kuluma. <laughs> 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 Savannah, civil on a, on a global level, would corner city. I as a Gulamunt law or in the soul, the more in the soul, so strength and who can argument there is in name, our fuzzy by and is in designating. So we need to start celebrating that a little bit more and really recognizing Konoko, you know, Tina's corner. So for once, that's really the platform yet. You're a good son and so again, see, Jow will see one good in there as a corner as a good celebrator by our Mm-hmm. Lia Baniga imifuzo minyaga yonke kumbele. Kalise na msa, uh, lo nyaga kumbe sile minyaga yi kalise. Uh, that's how 2012. Yeah. So, that's how October nga so wea e epem nga me e UK. That uh, yeah. we i award show yes, yes, really. Yeah. So, i, I, ama award that kona, abe once a year, go to a, i ama celebrations that kona ba, ama fazi, Especially our uh, Zimbabwe, uh, all over the world, you know, I end up uh, throughout the month. So even though it's late, I watch your A order, we tell us things in positivity and on our fans throughout the year. Mm-hmm. A tattoo you had there uh, from Miss uh, Sibanda, who's talking about the awards. Do you have such similar awards in this order? Yeah, we, we do have, I mentioned earlier, which I, I said, uh, yeah, the, the <laughs> Finite Women Appreciation Awards. Uh-huh. And actually, this coming Saturday, the event will be happening, and that will be the third annual event. Uh-huh. So they will be honoring women. The, the, the whole intention is to honor women in, mm-hmm. in all, all, all spheres, all, all walks of life, you know, from media to business to customer care and, you know, you name them. So the awards will be happening on the 29th and I think it's a very good initiative mm-hmm. to empower women to say women and when you see other people do good and mm. they get recognition, you, you strive to do good as well. So I think it's a good it's a good thing for for uh, the Ziwa initiative as mm. well as the Finite Women Appreciation Awards initiatives to empower women because all the women who are watching who haven't won are at a space where they are like I want to be there. If that's yes. PJ, she won that award for mm-hmm. community service, I can do it too. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. they end up Absolutely. contributing to their communities. Mm. I think on that note, um, Tato, we are going to round off our first uh, you know, segment. Uh, would like to ask our guest, uh, Nomsa Sibanda of the Zimbabwe International Awards to hold on, and also Miss okay. Moyo to also hold on. And we also want to thank our listeners who were listening in with us today and our in-house guest, Miss Tato, will continue with you. But please uh, do not hang up. And for our radio listeners, as you know, by now, we are now streaming live. So please join us on www.voazimbabwe.com. Stay tuned. I'm Marvelous Mplanga Nyahuye. My name is Plexitis Jeremiah. I'm going to say to you, 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 I'm going
www.ndebele.com. Again, if you're just joining us, this is Studio 7's Women's Roundtable on Life Talk. And today on the Women's Roundtable, we are speaking about the issue of women empowerment. Eight months after the African Union declared this year as the year of women's empowerment and development towards Africa's Agenda 2063, we want to hear what your views are about this issue. Mm-hmm. Studio Seven, Voice of America, Washington DC. The Sigutlelo, asi ishuze nibo mama. Lapoge esi ishuza kona. Utawa lolu o, o logu tutugisa o mama. Ugu logu botalisa. Ugu buti batole ama tuba. Alingi neyo. Uzonke ndao. Batole lawo ama tuba. Ugu ba. Sezi kunleni izobu kokeli. I women empowerment. Ah, iroida ma PJ. Chokwa di nasi michirongwa chedu uche madzimai. Tirukutarisa isu kutiju juru kuitukwa. Munyika zemu Afrika nyanya Zimbabwe mukeza kukuru zira. Kozero ze madzimai. Tita sauti isangano re Africa Union rakati mm. iro rino igorere mm. madzimai uye je mwezi uno mwezi we madzimai saka mm. tirikutari sauti pane zviri kuitwa here kuti kodzero dze madzimai dzirambe dzichikurudzirwa asi tisatenderera mberi PJ tichambotarisa mumwe mutakunanzwa watakaita nasi sita eh, tato eh, earlier on which is yesterday i had a conversation with tato and we're going to play her recording in which she was sharing her views on women's empowerment. Welcome to the Women's Round Table. Tonight we are gladly joined by our Mandela Washington Fellow from Lesotho, Ms. Tato Muchone, who is here for the 2015 Mandela Washington program. And we're going to be talking to her about her experiences here, especially in relation to women empowerment. Welcome to the program, Tato. Thank you very much, Marvelous. Share with us a little bit, what have you learned about women empowerment, especially after your visit here to the United States? Okay, what I've learned so far is it's not just being talked about, it is really happening. Mm -hmm. uh, for the duration of my time in New York at Syracuse, many people that came through were women as, mm -hmm. as, as lecturers, many people that I interacted with at the institutions that we visited, mm -hmm. they, were, they were women, you know, and they were holding high positions. So I realized that in the US it's actually happening, like it's being implemented. It's not just women empowerment that we see in Africa, a lot of noise has been made about women empowerment, the gender equality, empowering women to higher positions. So just a lot is being said back home. But the real action of executing and implementing women, there's still a lot of doubt mm -hmm. of whether do we need them there, do we trust them to, to be there, and can they do what we want? A lot of noise, but no action. But in the US, it's actually happening, and I'm, I'm wowed. And we've seen also the African Union, actually this year, they were declaring it the year of the women empowerment and also just discouraging, uh, you know, marriages of young girls at, you know, at um, no legal age. What's your takeaway when you do go back to Lesotho? What are you going to also be sharing with young girls and with also other women when you look at the agenda that has been set by the African Union? Is it attainable? It is attainable. I think we have to start working on the mentality. Mm -hmm. The woman's place is at home, uh, the boy child is better or smarter than the girl child. Mm -hmm. Like in, in many cases, you see that there are still those careers which are dominated by males, mm -hmm. like your IT, your engineering, and you know, those science subjects which are said to be smart. And unfortunately, those are the ones that are paying very much. Mm -hmm. But these are dominated by, by, by men, and society, in a way, has contributed to that because mm -hmm. uh, the girl child has grown up being socialized, uh, being sensitized that you are a girl, you can be a teacher, you can be a nurse, and, mm -hmm. and you, you can't compete with men. Mm -hmm. Men will always be here. It's not really about competing, but mm -hmm. it's about empowering women to the next level. It's about men contributing and women contributing mm -hmm. and bringing these two parties together to, mm -hmm. to do something that's, that's big and productive and that is going to benefit uh, the entire 
Africa and the continent at large. And also you have a young girl child yourself. What are you going as you take away and you leave the United States? How are you going to bring her up now with all this knowledge that you've learned here? Okay. Um, luckily, I'm, I'm embarking uh, on the 12th of uh, October, which is International Day of the Girl Child. I'm yes. embarking on a campaign back home. It is um, each one teach one. Mm -hmm. And I will be bringing girls from the rural schools mm -hmm. to their city to learn about STEM, mm -hmm. like science and, and maths uh, fields, and, and to get the feel of what's being done there, mm -hmm. and to empower them, and to say to them, you can actually do it. Mm -hmm. Because it is not like they cannot do it, yes. or men are smarter than them, that is not the case. But the reality of the matter is how they have been sensitized. So fortunately for me, my daughter knows that only the limit of my imagination can stop me from being whatever I want to be. Uh -huh. And I think my, my work as a teacher, as a trained teacher, as, as a media personnel mm -hmm. is going out and raising awareness, you know? Word of mouth is very powerful. Yes. Yeah. And the media is very powerful. So take advantage of the platform and say it has to stop now. We have to empower the girl child. And I think if it starts at that young age, it's just going to grow gradually with the generations. So the next time we won't find ourselves stressing about teaching and raising awareness, mm -hmm. it will just happen automatically. And then also going back to the YALI program itself, a lot of the people that have been on this program say sometimes it's difficult to implement what you learn when you do get back to your home country. You're a young woman yourself, you've been here, you've been at the Voice of America, you've been to other different places. What's your takeaway? Uh, I think the problem with um, the African mentality is, I don't know if I can say that's the African mentality, but the reality of, of the matter is you get to the US, there's so much freedom, mm -hmm. you know, you can be whatever you want to be, you yes. can do whatever you want to be, and you, you can actually spread your wings and fly uh -huh. but then you go back home and there's so many restrictions that is a challenge not just to me as a woman not just to me as a professional mm -hmm. uh, as a citizen but i think it is a, a, a challenge that is faced by many of young people mm -hmm. who were in the program who are going back home now um talking to people like you my uh -huh. mentor thank you very much and and people that i have came up across i realized that we need, to, I need to be focusing on solutions more than problems. Yes. I need to be focusing on solutions more than problems. So if there's something that I want to achieve, if it can happen the way that is happening in the U.S., what is the way around? Some wise words there from our <laughs> Yali fellow here. <laughs> Tato. Thank you very you much. You know, you can just maybe just round it up and tell us what were you thinking, what were your thoughts behind all this that you were sharing with us? It's, I think it's, it's time that we, we stopped blaming the government mm. as, as, as women, as, as citizens. It's, it's time that we did something on our own. I was looking at the project that I was doing at home and I, I realized that the lot of work that I did, I did not use my money. Mm -hmm. I did not use my resources. I did not use the government resources. It was people that I work with. It was PJ. It was Marvelous who said, you can have these shoes. Mm -hmm. And then I pass them on to someone else. Mm -hmm. That is how we, we, we build the community. It is taking the books that my daughter doesn't read anymore mm -hmm. because she has grown to give them to someone to read them. It is using my time on Saturdays because I only work for three hours mm -hmm. to, to teach children from a local school who can't afford tutors to help them in geography as a trained geography teacher, to help them in English. It's, it's coordinating and, and sparing our time. So if we become responsible citizens and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then do away with this jealousy thing, it is so annoying for, you know, people are just <laughs> like, you don't get it. Like, can't we do this together and own it together? Together, you know, yes. as can't we empower each other instead of trying to pull me down? Uh -huh. Can't you build me up? Because when you build me up, you mm -hmm. get me to the next level and you come to my level and someone comes up to your yes. level, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I really do feel like we have to be socially responsible and it will encompass all the factors that affect society, HIV, everything, women mm -hmm. empowerment, all of them, if we are socially responsible. Because as a socially responsible citizen, if you protect yourself against HIV, mm -hmm. then you are protecting the, the entire nation. Yes. If you share your time and your resources, then you are building the nation. Mm -hmm. We just have to be socially responsible. Also, mm -hmm. Tato, just um, to come in there, I, from some of the Yali fellows that I spoke to from different countries, they were saying that the spirit of volunteerism, they learned about it here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how rampant is it in this sort of... If, 
at all in Africa. Are we doing enough volunteer work for, you know, nothing? We, we're not. We Africans don't have... And I think we can't blame Africans in this regard because people are so busy being hungry. Mm. People are so busy being hungry, they don't have Politics time to... How do you volunteer on an empty stomach? You cannot do that on an empty stomach. I, mm. I, 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 I came to the U.S. and I learned there's so much love for the people. The people come first and then everything else follows. Infrastructure, everything, everything. So if we put the people first, I, th I think, I really think we are going somewhere. In Africa, there is no spirit of volunteerism because people are so busy trying to find jobs and put food on the table and, and running away from, from, from guns and authority and so many things. And, and HIV and getting their medication and they, they really do not have time to be volunteering. Mm -hmm. On that note, Tato, I think we'll take our, uh, we have uh, someone on the line, uh, Jenny Musonza from Dandaro Remazimai Anasi. Makadi, amai Jenny Musonza. I was a man who 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 was a man I don't do voluntary work here. I could have but I don't know what I'm doing. But we are actually trying our best. Uh, take, for instance, group radio radio under the Mazimayanas. Most of the work that we do is actually uh, voluntary work. Mm -hmm. We volunteer to do a lot of things. But you don't want to say that you can't volunteer. You can't volunteer in Nzara. You can't volunteer in Sinabas. You can't volunteer in Sinabas. As a very poor Barbuzita, could another scuba stran and Mongoma Zimai, Arim Zimbabwe on the ground because the group radio, although it started on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, most of the people are actually on the ground with Zimbabwe, and we have uh, helped change so many lives, including some orphans that are to such poor. And you'll be surprised that some of the people who have actually uh, given their time to help these kids are actually women in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So we, the, I think that's a good start for us as Zimbabweans. Mumbo bata makadaro e my msonza PJ. Uh huh. If volunteerism is Zimbabwe, it be Africa as a whole. It says in Luchwani. Kutu mm. anza tanda wuti ngiti ikona, but at different levels. E wuti baya nga jisana, baya former ama organizations on alao. Ende gula banyi, o mama apaswe layo, aba nga tolio lutu. Uh, aba ngekoyo ku politics but uh, aba enzayo izinto ezinkulu ku community aba kuyo aba uh, kungaba ikuncedisa labo abagulayo aba HIV positive ukuncedisa intandane ama orphans kulo kunye okuneng-neng uh, what i'm saying marvelous is uh, i want to defy just a little bit that uh, there is no volunteering in Zimba in Africa as a whole. There is at a certain level, which is different from uh, the Western world or the Americas, in the sense that uh, there are these organizations like the Dandaro, like uh, other organizations, even community-based clubs that mm -hmm. uh, help out orphans, that help out uh, those affected by the HIV. Mm -hmm. You remember that in Zimbabwe, we did have these community workers that were actually given uh, bicycles mm -hmm. uh, to tender uh, for those that are affected by the HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, there, is, the, there is a difference, though, uh, at the level of uh, voluntary, mm -hmm. that's what I, I could say. Yes, and I think uh, we, uh, Miss Musonza there from Dandaro Remazmai is also saying that she's echoing your same sentiments that um, most of the work that they do is, is actually volunteer. on volunteer basis. So it's different forms of volunteerism. Yes. But like what Tato is saying, we need to encourage it. Yes. Especially it in the younger, level. in yeah. the younger generation, because uh, you know sometimes it's very difficult to spend your time offering free time when you're on a hungry stomach.
Yes. So, you know, Tato, going back to you, uh, PJ is proposing there that, yes, there is volunteerism in Africa, but it's a different level, level mm -hmm. of compared to what true. you are seeing that here. That is true. You can give us your take on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, it is different because I volunteer a lot. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people back home <laughs> that volunteer. Mm -hmm. But people that, are, that volunteer are people who have resources people who can afford to put food on the table. Mm. Yes. The ones that volunteer, they should get something at the end of the day. That is the expectation. If I am going to volunteer my time here, at least give me lunch. At least give me something. But I came here and I realized we went to the shelter where they provide the, the, the dinner and the, the soup kitchens. Mm -hmm. You know, people just come there. They're not paid anything. They feed people with smiles and they're so happy. Mm. And so there is a level of empowerment that has to come before people can can volunteer. Mm -hmm. If if I can put food on the table, uh, that means I have I, I I'm I'm sorted. Then I can actually spare my time. But if I'm busy with my time trying to mm. find food, mm. when do I volunteer? So yeah, it is there at different levels and yeah, different levels. Yeah, yes. people also PJ, as you know, they here in the United States they start teaching the children at school. Mm -hmm. Before my son actually graduates, he has to make up some volunteer hours. hours so yes. it's ingrained as you grow up. So maybe what you know needs to happen also in Africa is to perhaps mm -hmm. put it as part of the education curriculum to say you need to volunteer. That is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you it it comes you know as you grow up. You, yeah, yeah. It comes. And naturally. they will just pass it on to their children and yes. their children and their children. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's here in America. It's mandatory. But in uh, in countries like Zimbabwe, I'll take Zimbabwe as a <laughs> Because that's where I grew up in. Um, there is um, some element of uh, uh, volunteerism, especially even in the poor communities, where a woman, even my mother, I'm, I was an only child, but I grew up with a lot of people. Yes, all absolutely. the people that were coming from the village <laughs> who passed through our house. You are somehow. absolutely right. And there was and there was enough food. <laughs> yeah, there was always so she food. shared what she had. had. We could share mm -hmm. whatever we had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the I little think, that we had. <laughs> I know, ladies, this is we're all fired up, but we need to go back to our guests, and um, we will go back. I think to uh, Miss Sibanda from the Zima Awards. Tell us a little bit. How are you preparing for these awards? Oh, uh, well, the awards are taking place in October, mm -hmm. so they're literally right around the corner. So at the moment, what we're going through is the voting process. We've just had our finalists announced in the last couple of weeks. So it's really the rigorous voting process of, mm -hmm. like, figuring out who the winners are. Uh, we're also at the point now of uh, selling our tickets for the actual event uh, mm -hmm. in Birmingham, UK. Uh, so in terms of preparation, we're really spreading the news, encouraging people to like really spread the word, not only by actually attending, because not everyone will be able to attend because you know because of location, mm -hmm. but also really raising awareness of like this great initiative mm -hmm. because you know this year they're bigger than they've ever been, and you know we had even greater awareness than we've ever had before. Mm -hmm. And it's that idea. Obviously, we've been touching on the idea of volunteering. I think like, and it's really mm -hmm. more about giving back. So that's yeah. the whole idea of the awards. It's giving back to the people that are doing uh, great things and making great strides within their uh, respective uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, we're really uh, pushing awareness of what we're trying to do and trying to achieve and hoping that like, you know, these will grow into be uh, a more global phenomenon than they are already. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Sibanda. I think also Ms. Jenny Musonza is one of, of the people that are actually being nominated for one of the categories. If we can go back to Ms. Musonza. My Musonza, I mean, Muripa Mungwe Avovari Pama Ziwa Awadza, Chimboti Taureo Kuti Muripa category EP. We are just no reve, you can get Muripa Mawadza Kade. Okay, um, the Ripa category yeah, people's choice, and uh, if I can ask you viewers to actually and your listeners to actually go and vote for me there. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to do that, but <laughs> <laughs> you are lucky you had your opportunity to be on air today. But tell us a little bit about okay, how you got um, to be on that list. Ziwa to me, it's Zimbabwe International Women's Awards, and the Chinu Chakanyan Kosheran Kuti, a Mukana, Watakawa no Kutiva Nukazi. Varakuita, communities in, uh, from small scales to big scales, mm -hmm. we are being acknowledged. Tukunzi, okay, our values of Varakuita also are cut. So it's like celebrating the woman. Mm -hmm. It's 
it's just amazing because who must be say I'm a Makore say that he does that he and you could see with the tattoo of Mashure. We want Barume to be kind to the children. We want to make a Nobel Prize winner. Zangaga want to Barume. My words the time was just too much. Apa winner, Mister Ningi. Apa winner, Mister Ningi. But Apa, Apa, Pana competition. You think Ningi me name gender? It's us as females, and we can actually get to know each other. Right now, when everyone was wondering, when I think that was Zio, they are doing great jobs. Mm. But right now, because of Zio, and that was Zio. When I'm coming from Australia, I'm just like, when I'm coming from South Africa, I'm like, when I'm coming America, when I'm Canada. So I think Zio is just an amazing thing, and I'm really um, grateful because when I was actually nominated for such an award. Mm. Uh, well, last year, our group, Dandar Remad May, and I won an award from Zio as well. Uh, it ends as the best female group uh, mm -hmm. online. So, uh, I think... Tiri, Papo, my son, group reni, you never met me, I can't say, we are one of our kunika zamkat zakawanda say. At the moment, we are more than 61 cases, which is 61,000. And Takasanga, uh, like Zimbabweans globally, Zimbabwe women globally, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, uh, Australia, UK, US, of course, I wouldn't have which is Zimbabwe, but very Mudandaro, the Mazmayanas. Saga, Ningangoti. That diversity, not in terms of color or what, but the diversity of it from different communities to go to the sun. So, as you know, that thing as you know, which is no one's a week, I'm going to pay you till my Zimbabwe, till Zimbabwe. So, I took this sun out to Kanamumasi. Now, you can actually go and give she, Mumu, I know the little that you have. No donation is too small, no volunteering hours are too small. If you can do it for 30 minutes, so I'm not a chess chess. So, I'm just a true way to suck up. And I hope it, we have, I mean, we are doing enough to uh, reach to the young generation. Because we started from the age of 18. And I think uh, one of our youngest ambassadors is 18, and one of our youngest admins is actually uh, 21. So, by all means, we have no cards. It is zero. Kubasran, community. I want to note that PJ is a temporary repair or repair to raise a new material, Miss PJ. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, we are using our endeavor. It's a good thing. We're going to see our own bono work on it. Hmm. Now, let's just think it's a little bit of a shock. Now, come on, let's go. Now, let's think it's a PJ. PJ, I think Nara has been as it has a Kanaka, Chambo to get up my engineer. Motora, a Simo and the Incos, yeah, Dando. A Uzile Lapa Amane, Abe Sifazan, Abe Kuluma, Gula, Gulon, Cosigas, Jane Sons, or Old and Dara Remat Mayanas. When I gay Agulazo, Yini, when I got to Kalamuti, Agula Shanganiso, Ezi, Pete, Ezu, who socialize, and Jenga Mamas, Quichisan as Pana, and my tail. In time, like South Africa, mostly lazy with Facebook. Ne? Yeah. Uh, it's like, for example, there is one that I belong to that is called United Women's Fund. Mm -hmm. We we talk about a, a lot of issues like Sakuluma, Nyeze Health. We talk about law issues like uh, issues that uh, people, women face, like when it comes to laws. In the Zinjing, I'm at divorce. Makato, uh, Dabandoana, stuff like that. And also, as well, they are also doing uh, recently, we uh, donate a place that we're going to be donated to Abandona or Zimbabwe and something like that. Mm -hmm. that that's where we socialize mostly on those uh, social networks. Yeah. Because that's when you get home in the evening, so you sit down and then you can take your phone and start chatting to the women. And the other one that I belong to is like, uh, like Zimbabwean women baking and like where we share recipe ideas, we do like we talk a lot about a lot of of things. Uh, people advertise their businesses. Some bake, some do decor, some do a lot of stuff. That's when you meet some other women and be able to talk about the challenges we meet along the daily life and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
Zatandovambe Conape, when what are Gulchang and Niso Zonkes on a lezo whom Bela Matrim, Kumele, Litrines, and Kulumisana, near the politics, as Ombusas. Don't just end good politics, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Stomach. <laughs> you need to raise it to another level. What is Kulumelo Long Cosas is Chele Mazi, as Yawamgela will say. Nyabonga Sisi, Nangongo Gushon is Okuluma and Amagenda inequalities. Yeah. In Abandis has an Estibana now. Yeah. I would say, Uwuti, the extent of those inequalities, they vary from country to country. Yeah. In regards to status, region, mm-hmm. or whether they are staying in the rural or in the urban areas. Yeah. In general, women in Africa have less access to education, mm-hmm. health, and health um, and things like property and justice as compared to men. Mm. Most women in Africa have um, clear gender divisions, especially when it comes to labor. You find out that you, generally a typical women, woman will stay at home to cook mm-hmm. and take care of the children. And those positions that they do in a family, they are rarely recognized. Mm-hmm. Whereas men, on the other hand, they are seen as the head of the house and um, as breadwinners. Mm-hmm. Then one other thing, you also realize that women are held back in society, some by cultural practices. Yeah. Arranged marriages, you find out that those they arrange those marriages to younger children and they end up having no education at all. Mm. That that will constrain them from entering the workforce. Mm. Tato, you are listening there to one of our uh, callers, uh, Miss uh, uh, Stiele Mazui. Yeah, hey, what's your take on, on what she's saying? Because we're kind of running out of time, so we want <laughs> you to chime in on what okay, she's yeah, saying. Yeah, I, I do agree with what she's saying. Uh, that uh, women are not afforded enough opportunities. Mm-hmm. So it is a chain that will go on and on. Because from a young child, if she's forced into an early marriage, that that's the end of productivity for her. She's mm-hmm. not going to be uh, a productive person in society economically. Mm-hmm. So she'll end up uh, being a domestic worker, which is not a bad thing, of course. She's going to end up being a domestic worker. And it might just end there. Most of the time it ends there. So... It's a cycle. It's a mm-hmm. cycle. And then she, she's going to have children and she's going to, and they might not get enough opportunities because she cannot afford. So it has to start with ending this child marriage, mm-hmm. affording the girls more opportunities. And that goes to empowering women in general. Thank you, Tato. I think uh, we'll also turn to um, our guests uh, to give us their last word. We'll go to Jenny Musonza of Danda Remads. May just give us your last word as we get ready to, uh, you know, conclude our program. All right. Um, my, my last word is uh, let's all try to empower and motivate women to help each other, no matter how little that we get. Because coming from a, first, I mean, a third world country, like Zimbabwe, we all understand the hardships that every woman face. But we need to do something to make things better. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm, I'm really like heartbroken because I know I have a couple of girls who were really helpful in the group who've lost their jobs because mm-hmm. of what is happening in Zimbabwe right now. And it's just difficult, but we need to hang in there and hold on because struggle I pay in one day, and mm. for you to get somewhere, you have to struggle a bit. I think we all know, even for independent day, we have to go to war. So this is like war, mm. and we have to keep on fighting until we get where we want to get. I want to not end that sorry, Kuku Katai, but Ungo, Ungo, Bayajga, Nana, Sakatia, and as we kuna, my norms are Sibanda to just give us your last word in like five seconds. Okay, I just echo everything that everyone said. I think we need to prioritize prioritize gender equality and really understand that, you know, no one individual can do it. We mm. need to do it together with all these different initiatives. Mm. And would like to take this opportunity to thank all our guests, especially our in-studio guest, Tato, uh, who helped us analyze the women empowerment issue and also would like to thank Jenny Musons of Dandaro Remazmai Anasi and also uh, Noam Sasibanda of Ziwa Awards and PJ, you have some other guests that we want to thank. Uh, 
sitele mazui kanyelo ntando yenkosi moyo siyalibonga ukuphathisa kuhlelo lethu lalamhlanje iyisikhathi asisavumi wathi ke siligqube lapha nje uhlelo lethu asidibane ningivikelizayo ufrexit is jeremiah and I'm marvelous Mhlanganya Huye. Join us again next week on the Women's Round Table where we'll give you some more exciting issues on women. Good.